This place is so crowded, so busy. There can't be this many people in this building. Well, that was a lot of fun. Not nerve-wracking morning so far. I head out to do some lab work this morning. And the first thing I run into is a big old jam on the freeway. Old rush hour, I guess. I didn't see anything, any wrecks or anything. Uh, then everywhere you go, it's crowded. You go to, you think you're going to your doctor's office or a, a lab and uh, like thousands of people had to park like a half a mile away. Ah, uh, it's not the old city from my youth. So I thought while I was off and out, I would just kind of enjoy the day now, try to relax. Of course, I got to get those results and eh, hoping that they're okay. But I haven't really been to the doctor. I haven't really been taking care of myself uh, to be honest with you, uh, I walk around doing these videos and hiking here and there, but not not a lot. And uh, just don't really eat right or take care of myself. So if I get some negative results, it's <laughs> I'm not going to be too surprised. So, anyways, I'm just going to kind of document another day in my life go around up here in the northeast heights and see what we can see i hope you'll come along with me let's go not too bad of a day as far as weather now the day before this recording oh my goodness the winds were horrific but today just a little breezy at least right now every time i say that they start kicking up uh but uh yeah i got some Nice blue skies, some nice sun, it's a good day to get out and enjoy your life. You got to do that, uh, well, quite often actually. I'd say every day, do something that uh, makes you feel alive. Love these big old beautiful pines. I think they're ponderosa pine if I'm not mistaken. Now my allergies are a little worse this time of year, but not much. I pretty much I pretty much live with allergies and sinus problems all year round. And people say, well, how could that be? There's nothing growing. Yeah, but I'm allergic to certain trees, uh, dust or dust mites. Uh, I've always had, uh, ever since I was, uh, oh, I don't know, 11 or 12 years old, I've had sinus problems. So it's a constant battle with the eyes and nose with me. Stinky trash truck, wow. Wow. Well, I feel a little more relaxed now. That's all it takes. Get out in the nature and just try to relax and enjoy it. No matter what's on your mind.
moved, I think, the house that my family lived in is over here somewhere. I'm going to see if I can find it. All eight of us. Many, many years ago. I found it. It is this house right here. My dad built so many walls and did a lot to it many years ago. I don't want to get out because it uh, looks like a lot of people are home. That was it. Very humble. Very humble house for eight people. Six kids and mom and dad. I kind of remember playing in the street. Of course, I was a very little kid. Now I remember Windrock Mall being right down the street. Got the old Q shopping center down here. Cruising. Do people cruise anymore? Sure did when I was a kid. Oh, that was so exciting for some reason. Cruise to McDonald's. Then you make a circle across the street to the... Uh, Dairy Queen, I think it was. Yeah, Dairy Queen. Up and down, all around. <laughs> Those were the days playing the music and hoping your car didn't break down because you only had a few bucks in your pocket. It's just nice to get out, even just doing nothing. It's nice to do nothing sometimes because usually it's an errand or you have to go here, go here, go to work, go there. Ah, my old stomping grounds here near Montgomery and Wantabo. I went to school right behind there. A school called El Dorado High School. Thought I'd just stop here and kind of walk around. Looking good. Thank you. Oh, Mother's Day's coming, huh? Do it yourself, dog wash. I just remembered I passed that corner where, uh, Planet Fitness is now. When I was in high school, that was a cool little arcade place called, see if I can remember, it's been a few years, I think, P Pojo's. Pojo's Arcade. Just filled with, uh, of course at that time it was probably filled with uh, pinball machines and Pong. <laughs> remember Pong? This was a 7-Eleven right here. I just noticed they're not hitting golf balls. They're hitting tennis balls. Good idea. It doesn't go as far. Now, this is not a pleasant story, but a survival story. Me and a friend were walking home through here, this exact place, and one of these doors led to a, uh, uh, like, a pet store, like fish aquariums. And we're just walking down. And all of a sudden the door opened. This was at night. One of the doors opens. These guys come barreling out, grab both of us by the hair. We both had long hair at that time, pretty much. And just dragged us in there and go, you guys are the ones that are messing with our motorcycles back here. And we're going, no, no, we were scared. Well, we had to go home and change our shorts. I'll tell you what, uh, <laughs> 
that was scary I don't know if they were messing with us but we pleaded for our lives and uh, finally let us go but uh, walking through that alley that sure is a sure reminded me of that <laughs> construction hey look at this friggin mess I came the wrong way huh yeah uh-huh well this is a historic building right here uh, it used to be Hoffman Town Baptist it was here forever and this whole area is called Hoffman Hoffman Town it was the builder for all these uh, brick homes I did a little uh, video on this quite some time ago, the whole neighborhood. Gonna try something new today. Canes, raising canes. No, I haven't been here yet. All right, thank you. And here we are at another park, Hoffman Town Park. Beautiful park, and we're gonna have a, a little uh, breezy lunch outside today. And this is what we're dealing with. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, well, let's see what the hype is. Oh, soft. Very tender. Looking good. Mm. Hot. That's good, too. Now, I remember when they first opened. I don't remember when, but it was a while back. And, uh, because it was the first one we had in Albuquerque, people were lined up for blocks. I'm just now having it in very quick service. Pretty good price too. Fries aren't bad. Not bad at all. A little coleslaw. And some bread. Awesome. Hi. Hey. I see a yellow lab run around here, did you? No, I just got here. Okay, yeah, that lady was looking for one. Oh no. Well, have a nice lunch. Can I give her a little piece of chicken? Oh, man, she would love that. Oh, great. Nia, you want a piece of chicken? It looks Nia. pretty nice and healthy. Come here, sweetheart. Hey, Nia. Oh, was she afraid? Come here. No. Hey, Jeez. you want some chicken? Come on, Nia. Oh, look at that. It's so oh, good. Oh, my God. <laughs> you made her day. It's the okay. first time I've had this. I've never Where'd even tried canes. Where'd you get it? Canes? Canes. 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 Oh. They uh, opened here a while back, and there's people lined up around the blocks when it. Are hurts. you um, feed her everything? It's, oh, I see. It's unbelievable. Uh. Nia, you act like you've never eaten before. <laughs> Don't stare at him. That's not polite. Bye. Bye. Come on, Nia. Let's go. Dog didn't want to leave. She sure loved that chicken. Try the coleslaw, which you probably shouldn't, because something about coleslaw. Usually doesn't agree with me. It's good though. Nice and quiet. There's some morning doves cooing away.
wind's kicking up. I'm playing with my little motion detector. I don't think I've ever used it for a full video. Other than maybe a tripod. <laughs> this is almost too much. I give it a thumbs up. Definitely. I eat too fast though. Making anybody dizzy yet? Let's see how fast I can go. Oh, it's pretty fast. <laughs> Stop following me. Well, I think that's going to do it for today. It's been a little too exciting for me. But uh, got some things done that I had to get done. Still have some more things to do to the day, but this was the most important part, and I'm glad you joined me today. And I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, because I love hanging out with you. And uh, I'm going to head out and live the rest of my day doing what I don't know I'll always find something it's usually work around the house <laughs> but bye for now Now talking about triggering a memory, I remember decades ago, I was sitting right here in my 1967 Mustang, and I had a couple friends with me, one in the passenger seat and one in the back, a couple of girls, and uh, we just had some McDonald's. So for some reason, I was being a jerk and I put the McDonald's trash right outside on the curb. <laughs> And we're sitting there about ready to get going. Some guy comes walking up to us. Looked like a really rough looking character. Maybe a street uh, guy. But he came in here and he goes, you throwing your trash out in the park? And I got all scared. And the, my friend, the girl in the back there, was like all oh, freaked out. I got up and went around, picked it up, threw it back in the car. But, oh, live and learn then be forgetful and live and learn again.